I was once asked to summarize my intense attraction to expeditions, adventure travels, and conservation, which from the beginning inspired the rugged and sophisticated designs in my collections. I replied, it's the openness that clothes you. The experience becomes the Hemingway cargo short and the sandbar poplin shirt, which in time fade in the sun, but never away from our closets. Brothers of the elements course through your hair and bite at your face with misted salt. They shout your freedom as you skim across the liquid sky of the tarpon and bonefish's domain. These moments, these memories forever lodged in my mind, create clothing which is more gear than apparel. As soft as the continuously changing landscape beneath our feet, the colors of sky and coral find expressions in lighthouse stripes and tortuga plaids. I'm ready. Why we aspire to soar is rarely pondered. How, on the other hand, is forever being reinvented. The day ends with catching that last epic set, just one more cast, and other white lies we tell ourselves and those who patiently wait for us back at the dock. Grilled yellowtail, fried shrimp, burgers, golden fries, and other delicacies illuminated by kerosene lanterns are the rewards of a day well spent. As equally enjoyed as these adventures is the gear we wear when with those we love most, we share our tales of you should have been there and the one that got away. And they smack it down in the water where all these guys are dumping all these pilchards and these tunas eat it and they just jam the butt of this big camp bamboo rod under this thing behind them and they jerk and like tunas just come flying over top of them and what? land in the freaking boat. And every once in a while, one of somebody hook a big tuna, you know, the guy, and like three guys come over and they all help them and like a 150 pound tuna will come flying through the air <laughs> and land in the boat and they're all wearing helmets so that they don't get owned by these big tunas. <laughs>